What is up, guys? Crisis here. I am actually back in the midst of Pandaria Beta right now, playing a mage. Um, this is actually my mage. The gear isn't the best, but... Wait, did they get rid of ranged weapons altogether? I am so confused. What was I talking about? Right, my gear isn't the best, um, obviously, but... It's okay for PvP, it's gonna be a lot better than that monk I played last night where I instantly died in every two seconds. Actually, that was this morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to make this part here, uh, before I queue up, just showing you. I'm gonna go fire. Uh, there's a couple reasons for this. I have a feeling, A, uh, with deep, fr oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. With deep freeze and, what's that other skill? Shatter. Both being baseline talents, so now fire has not only the stun, but also the increased crit damage on stun on frozen targets. Um, I think that that's going to make mages really, really good. For uh, that's going to make fire mages really, really good rather. Um, Frost is obviously still going to be good for the control in like arenas, but from a pure damage standpoint, I think fire is going to beat it out because of the change to. Uh, because of the change making those two talents baseline. So I am going to go fire. Uh, as far as glyphs, I don't know if... Okay, so you do have some of the glyphs. You, okay, you have all the glyphs you had on live. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and glyph up with the ones I have. Um, I don't I don't obviously know what's going to be good, but I don't really have very many glyphs, so I'm just going to rock Deep Freeze and Combustion, because I know that those are two skills I'm going to... Oh, there's no longer a cast I'm on glyphs. Right on. Um, okay, Glyph of Spellsteel seems decent. Always good to be able to heal yourself. Um, okay, and there are no more Prime Glyphs, or whatever glyphs, so... Alright, uh, when your blink spell teleports you in the direction you are moving instead of the direction you are facing. Oh, that might confuse the hell out of me. I don't know if I want to use that. I want, I'll experiment with it, but that could very well confuse me very badly, because now I'm going to blink that way. Oh, God, that's kind of cool. Alright. Alright, there's nothing I can learn from the mage guy. I just wanted to see, make sure. Um, I also like how they did this, too. Uh, you now have like all of your skills are in the fire tree and the frost and arcane are grayed out you can't grab anything from there even though some of the skills are the same like uh, Kona Gold. Anyways, um, there was one other thing I was gonna do before I said I'm at, oh right, talents. Alright, I'm just gonna select my talents here. Um, I actually don't know exactly what I'm gonna go for talents. Um, I think I'm gonna probably go Presence of Mind because that seems like it's gonna be the best for that. Uh, mainly because if you proc an instant cast pyroblast, follow it up with another one, and if both of them crit on like a deep freeze target, then the damage could be really, really insane. But at the same time, I know Scorch is also really good because you can cast it while moving. But I think I'm going to try out Presence of Mind, uh, and we're going to see how that goes. <coughs> um, this Temporal Shield seems really good if you know when heavy damage is going to be coming in. Um... Uh, I think I'm gonna actually experiment with this and just practice it. Uh, obviously, I don't really care that much because it is beta, but I am gonna. It will be f interesting to try it out and see how that spell works. Um, I do want to experiment too. Uh, what's this? Four second silence and freeze. That could be good. I think that'll be real good because that'll allow shatter crits. Uh, here I think. Cold Snap is decent because it restores the health, but it's not good enough. Cauterize is good because it procs on its own, but compared to Cold Snap and Greater Invisibility, it's kind of garbage. It just does it automatically. So I'm going to try out Greater Invisibility. Um, that sounds like it'll be a pretty decent skill, uh, just because of the damage reduction and also the instant cast in Viz. Um... And then here, I'm not too sure is what the best thing is. Obviously, for fire, one would think living bomb, but combustion does not work off living bomb anymore. So, in that regard, I'm pretty sure that it's no longer 
it's not really a necessity. Um, it can be cast on three targets, which is nice. And it does decent damage, but I'm pretty sure that something like Frost Bomb would be better in a PvP scenario. Um, yeah, this is just a random dot, and then deals damage to another target within 10 yards. In PvP, that's probably terrible, because something's going to be CC'd the majority of the game. And I don't know if it can break CC, but even if it can't, then that's going to be worthless, because it's not going to be doing the other half of its thing. As I said with Living Bomb, I think that'll be decent in like 2v2 arenas, where you want to get pressure out on both targets. Um, but I'm not too sure it'll compare with Frost Bomb, just because... Frost Bomb is a really short cooldown. It's only nine and a half, well, 9.79 seconds, which is kind of a random number. Um, and then after f like about five seconds, it explodes and slows targets within the area. Okay, it's cooldowns reduced by haste, which is why it's an arbitrary number and not 10. So that's what I'm going to uh, go for as far as talents. As you can see, I actually didn't get any of the fire talents, even though I am going fire. Because, as I said, I think fire is just going to be really good for ignite ticks and such during... Uh, and then followed up with a combustion during like a deep freeze. Uh, so I'm gonna try this out. My only issue with deep freeze is that the target does have to be frozen, and you're not gonna have instant cast procs anymore for it, which means you're not gonna be able to like, you, and you can't pet Nova to get them or to freeze the person. So it is gonna be a little bit harder to use, but I'm gonna try it out. Uh, I'm not gonna record myself setting up hotkeys and everything, so the next time you see this video, I will be in a game. Uh, oops. <laughs> I have ice block bound in the same thing. I have to start fraps. I guess I won't be ice blocking this game because it will cut fraps. Anyways, um. Yeah, back here we got Isle of Gilneas again. For reasons unknown, I don't have a mount. I can assure you I have a mount on this guy on live servers, but as you can see, uh. I have a companion. Um. I do not have, have any mounts. For some reason, none of them are going to transfer it over here. But that's okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to fret. I'm not too, too sure what armor you want to use. Um, I'm going to just go with crit for now. And the reduced harmful uh, physical effects used against you. Uh, like bleed effects. Reduced duration. Um, obviously the harmful magic is probably more useful. But I don't think 5 mastery is that good. I don't really know. Obviously. I guess... We'll just do some experimenting and see how things go. Um, but for now, we're going to try it with this thing on. But I do have everything hotkeyed. Well, I remember where everything is is a whole nother story. Everybody else seems to have a mount except for me, so I'm going to be very slow. Um, there's something else I was going to mention. Oh, yeah, they changed Blink, like the animation for it. just wanted to show that real quick. Well, I can't do it in here, so I'll do it as soon as I get out of here since I can't mount up anyways. But, yeah, uh... Uh, I don't know why they changed the animation. You kind of roll now. Maybe that's because I used that glyph. I don't really know. But you don't blink. You kind of like... You don't roll. You just... You'll see. Once I get down here because it still doesn't work on... So you just kind of sprint forward. It's not like you blink forward. It's like you run really fast. I don't really understand... I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense to me. No one grabbed mine. I would grab mine, but I want to go fight people. Like, that's what I do on beta. It'll be interesting to see if this one crashes as well, because the last one crashed when I was doing the monk. Thank God for that. I got me out of that mess. Um, so I don't have attack speed or attack power, which I don't need, but I don't have the stats, which is only 5% intellect, I believe, which I don't even know who gives that. And then the uh, spell haste. I don't know who gives that either. Can you not? I don't know if blink doesn't work in water. Blink is very wonky. I mean, it always has been, but it seems really bad now. Oh man, there would be nothing else for me to attack. So I need to try out... I have figured out a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I was attacking a training dummy because the queue was like 20 minutes. Um, fireball, 
not what I was going to start that sentence with, but when you crit with Fireball, I'll go with that, uh, it no longer gives you the instant Pyroblast, you need two crits in a row, so you, if you get a uh, critical strike with Fireball, you can use Infernal Blast, which is a 100% crit chance, and uh, that will proc you your Fireball. So, that's kind of useful. The other, another thing to note is Ignite uh, procs on every hit now, it's no longer only on crits, it now does like 25% damage of whatever the damage of your thing do, did beforehand. I'm gonna get killed by this hunter because mages can't kill on his. But I guess that's gonna have to change. Oh, what? Okay, now I'm confused. How come like 20 things just popped out of nowhere? Oh, hey, I blinked it. I didn't go anywhere. I'm so confused since... What just... Is that really a hunter skill? They summon 50 pets? That's really not fair against casters at all because that pretty much stops everything I can do because of the pushback off that. Well, I don't know, maybe not. It's pretty much no more pushback than I'd normally have. Just seems like it. That's weird, though. That's a weird skill. I really need to mount. Okay, if you jump and you hit blink, it doesn't work. If you're in the water and you blink, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm gonna lock him out of skills. What? Didn't I just whatever him? I'm confused. I don't understand what just happened because I thought I froze him with deep freeze, but then he instantly shocked me. He must have trinketed. I hope he trinketed. This game is real broken. I realize it's beta, but I feel like they shouldn't break things that currently work. I feel like that's that's bad if that's what happens. No, not having a mount is stupid. I wonder why I didn't get transferred over. Because all of my gear did, everything in my bags, my mount, uh, my pets, everything else did. So, yeah, blinking while jumping no longer works. So that's something you're going to have to watch out for. I wonder if... I'm assuming that that's a game bug because it works on live. And if it's not, then that's going to be insanely stupid. Oops, I thought I wanted to click. Oh, whoops. What? Oh, I want to hit T. This frost bomb thing that, uh, whatever has now is really good. Okay, that's that type of thing. Uh, this frost bomb thing is really, really good. I've noticed. It hits, it does a lot of damage. I don't have enough hit rating apparently to hit people. I know I'm clicking, but that's it is what it is. Oh wow. It shoots a rainbow. I don't even know what to say about that. Except this is really kinda stupid. Obviously it takes the place to seduce, but really, really. I don't really seem to. D yeah, that sh thing just crit for like a ridiculous amount of damage. It does so much. It's absurd. Oh, here we go with me getting stuck in place for five days. Really? Really? This is fucking annoying. It's like all the fun of being seduced, except this pet's not apparently garbage, so. Apparently they're gonna actually use it, which is unfortunate because it's kind of annoying. This frost jaw thing, I don't really understand how it works. Okay, so then I can freeze off that with deep freeze, but it's supposed to last four seconds, but it doesn't seem to do that. Um, I just want to see like damage-wise. Combustion does, yeah. I mean, this dude obviously has full resilience, which is good, good test for damage, but. I don't know why I just tried to cleanse that guy. But whatever. Um Yeah. Uh I don't know. This frosting, I thought it was gonna be a whole lot better than it actually is. 
It's really not that good. I, or the fire thing, really. But I also don't have any PvP power, which would increase my damage. I'm just gonna attack this guy, I guess, since something else is dying at all. Oh, this dude's squishy. Should have attacked him in the first place. Clearly. Hey, right there, like, I don't really understand this skill, because it doesn't seem to work, ever. Like, I've used it a few times. Wait, Repentance has a cast time now? Hmm. That's kind of weird. Okay. So... I'm just trying to see how this thing works. Like right there, I cast it again and it didn't work. This frost gel thing, it must share DR with like every other skill ever made because it doesn't seem to ever work. I don't really know what's up with that. Fire definitely does have a lot of burst though. You can tell already, like if you if I'm attacking targets that don't have a lot of resilience, I can get like some 19k crits followed by some like 20k instant pi uh, power blast. If I follow that up with an ignite, it would do really good damage. Or not an ignite, with a combustion. It'd be really good damage, and it would be pretty hard to heal through, I think. That's a very big pet. I'm out of range. So I'm gonna try to freeze this guy. Okay. So yeah, it probably just shares DR with like every other skill ever. That did significantly less damage than I thought it would, but he may have had a priest shield. There is a priest nearby. Had there's a priest right there, so let's go ahead and kill this guy. Yeah. I don't know, this fire thing works good. I, th I could definitely see this being a viable spec once you get gear. Uh, at 85, I think you'll do a lot of damage with fire. Especially if you play like... I'm trying to think of a comp where... The, like if you play like right now, anyways, warrior, priest, mage, for example, and the mage is the mage is more or less gonna get left alone, because uh, everyone's just gonna tunnel the warrior. Um, obviously, you're probably gonna take scorch for most PvP situations. I just wanted to try presence of mind for the double pyroblast. I thought it'd be pretty good. So that's that game. That was a disaster. Um, that was short though, but whatever. So that's gonna be it for. Uh, the mage right here. Um, I'll probably actually do more videos with the mage, just not at this, not at the moment. I'm pretty tired, and I'm gonna call it a day. Um, but there probably will be another mage video or two. Uh, I'll probably also try out Frost at some point, just because I haven't actually played Fire in months, because I play Frost on live, because Fire isn't viable. So Fire's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, but yeah. Pretty legit. Um, I like the mage changes a lot. I think mages are going to be really, really good in the next expansion. I think, especially once you get these 90 point, the, yeah, the 90 point talents. Once you get the, uh, I don't even know what tier that is, tier 7 uh, talent points. Um, like, rune of power is going to be garbage in PvP because it's a stationary thing. The encanter's ward could be very good. Um, you gain a lot of spell power. And on top of that, you gain you gain passive spell power, and then on use spell power, and then also absorb damage. And the invocation thing could be really good, uh, just because in PvP you don't really need mana regeneration, at least not currently. Like you're not gonna run out of mana, and I can tell already you're not going to really in PvP this expansion either, unless spell costs go through the roof in the next few levels. But, I just want to see, is there still a glyph of evocation that heals you? Because if there is, then that thing's broken. But I don't think there was. Because I would have it, because I have glyph of evocation on live. Also causes you to regain 60% of your health. Okay, so it's reduced 20%. Alright, so you gain 20% health. Every time you eat, every time you get a full evocation off. Which, considering it's not going to have a cooldown, could be very, very good. Uh, I'll experiment more with that later. I mean, I'm not too worried about it right now. So, anyways, I'm gonna call it a day for now. <laughs> Look, this stupid thing's still at the top. 
Uh, and I'll be back with more Mr. Pandaria beta probably later. I might bring over my warrior and try him out. Um, and I'm, I might bring my shaman over, but probably not on my shaman. But we'll see. So, with that, I'm out. Peace, guys.